Hey guys, Harley Day Rider back at you once again, your good old friend HDR out here once again in the HDR garage. Today, we're going to be trying to install, we're going to see if it works out for us, the Kimimoto floorboard extenders. Now, why did I want floorboard extenders? Well, the last time I came home from a trip, I found that my boot, actually, when I turned my foot a certain way, my boot was touching the exhaust and left a little mark on the exhaust. Of course, I got locked with steel wool and everything's fine, but I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice if I could get the floorboards out a little bit away from the motorcycle and give my feet a little bit more room? So Kimimoto was nice enough to send these out to me. Again, these are a, a product demo. And this time, there is definitely instructions in the box, okay? And there are the spacers, the left and the right. The one thing I could tell you just by pre-looking at this, it says on, on the instructions to look for the one stamped left hand or left side there's no markings on these products at all okay that i can find so i'm just putting out there very transparent so i got to remove the bolt from the motorcycle now i can tell you i kind of looked at it already um, and i watched another guy's video and it, they were very very tight man you need a breaker bar to get the back ones broke so it is a 10 no wait it's an eight millimeter uh, metric uh, Allen wrench as well as or Allen socket is what I'm using. So eight millimeter. All right, let's go ahead. I want to show you the space right now currently on the floorboard and then I'll show it to you again after the spacer is installed. You do this directly or exactly the same way on the right as you do the left the sand of the bike. So I'm going to just record one side and show you how it's done. Then I'll tackle the other side off camera uh, and then I'll go ahead and We'll film the final product uh, review there. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you real quick down here the floorboard as it looks now. Okay, guys, these are the bolts I took out. These are your stock bolts. Okay, the long one's from the front. The short one is for the rear. Okay. This is what Kimimoto sends you in the package. You get the two spacers. As you notice, one is shorter than the other. Okay. The shorter one goes on the right. The longer one goes on the left, okay, as you're sitting on the motorcycle, right, left. These are universal. These go on the front up here, okay, to space those away. The bolt, the longer bolt goes in the front hole, this hole, okay, and the shorter bolt goes in the rear hole, okay. You do have lock washers, so put your lock washers on there first, all right, get these lock washers on here it's kind of hard to do this holding the camera you guys know how that is right all right i'm also going to go ahead and use some blue loctite just a little dab on those just to keep them in those holes and keep them tight in there so obviously i'm not going to show you how to use you know use a wrench and screw those in there it's pretty easy uh, to put that in i will say that we are going to try to maybe possibly thread these first just to make sure the holes are okay it looks obviously like the same threads and there's a bunch of crap in that hole there so i guess harley puts a lot of loctite in their bikes when they put them together so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get this together like I said, I'll bring you back in once I'm done with the, with the entire job. The other side, like I said, the only thing you remember on the spacers is the short side on the right, the long side on the left, the long bolt in the front, the short bolt in the rear. Okay, if you remember that, you'll have it down pat. All right, let me go ahead and get this started. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you here the difference underneath. You can see where that piece is in there now, the spacer. Okay, that's like this one for the other side. So the spacer's in there, the front spacer's in there, right here, okay? But look at the difference up here. I want to show you the difference comparable to what it was. Your floorboard's normally almost touching that pipe. Look now how much room I got between here to put my foot. So I can kind of rest my foot a little further out. The floorboard still opens up fine. Actually opens up better now, so and there you go. So as I said, the other side will be exactly the same. I'm going to go ahead and work on that now and uh, get that one taken care of. 
But uh, yeah, so far I think it's going to be a win-win situation there. So I'll give you a wrap up here at the end. But uh, again, these are from Kimimoto and their floorboard extenders. Well, once again, I'm going to have to say thanks to Kimimoto. Uh, the parts were a perfect fit. Uh, the finish on them, they look really good. They're uh, powder coated or gloss black, as you've seen in the earlier pictures. So the directions are right on. Uh, as I said, the only thing I found is the one that was supposed to be marked left or LH for left hand was not marked. But uh, yeah, they're both on, man. And I got all kind of room now. If, you, if I burn my feet on the pipes now, I'm going to have to be trying to burn my feet on the pipes. So, but thank you very much uh, for watching this video and hopefully you'll order these. There'll be a discount code below this video. So you get uh, like 7% off, but it will cost you like 25 bucks. And it's, it's definitely a value uh, for your buck. Very easy to change. The hardest thing was, was actually breaking the old Harley Davidson uh, bolts because you know, they were in this is a 2018. They've been in there for quite a while. Uh, so I had to use a breaker bar, but just get the socket in there and uh, break that off. So uh, they are metric head Allen wrenches. So you do need a metric head to go in these things. But other than that, let me show you the finished product and then I'm going to cut out of here. But thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, always, as always, click the uh, like and subscribe button and I'll be bringing you more demos, more install videos here in the HDR garage as more, more riding videos and more touring. So that's what we love to do. All right, let me give you a final walk around. All right. So again, as you can see here, this one is so far from the pipes now. I mean, I'd have to really work hard. You can see that the mounts are definitely out further from even the brake. So the brake's sitting back in. Uh, I, I mean, I like it. I think it's great. I think it's nice. Your foot's still not outside of the, of the lower fairing here. So you still got the wind protection and the rain protection. So I think that's great. Let's go ahead and look at the other side. On the gear shifter side here, before and I didn't show you this before, but it was right sitting right about here Right about there underneath right underneath the gear shifter now. It's further out so you can shift gears put your foot out here and relax and uh, Take a nice touring drive down the road there. So I did use my uh, you know my f11 uh, Use any cleaning product, but clean your floorboards up man. They were a mess So but yeah, I really like them. I can't wait to get the bike out and ride. It's raining today So it's not going to be today, but maybe tomorrow I'll take a cruise on it to let you know how they feel. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. And uh, let me go back up here for the closing. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching the video. I do appreciate all your efforts all the time, clicking on my videos here and checking them out. Remember, Roger and Rob, be safe out there. Holy Day, Rob, be down and out in a beautiful HDR garage here in southwestern Pennsylvania. See you next time. Bye.